off in the Kentucky Derby. The grade one, one million dollar Wood Memorial was all about the Uncle Mo show at one to nine, the undefeated Uncle Mo, juvenile champion, heading into the Wood Memorial. And I thought he stumbled a little bit, maybe several strides out of the gate, and then seemed to grab the bit early for Johnny Velazquez, who would say after the race that the horse never would settle. You see him being pressured there on the lead by Duca, the horse shipping it for trainer Wayne Lucas off a maiden win. And I just thought Uncle Mo was, even with that big, beautiful stride he has, was just pulling a little hard on Johnny Velazquez. Now they go a half in 47 and 4, and maybe not as fast as what we know Uncle Mo can do, but the Wood Memorial on Aqueduct Racetrack is a little deeper, a little sandier, being pressured going a mile and eighth for the first time. Not trying to make excuses for Uncle Mo, but uh, that was kind of a fast fraction. You'll see now all of a sudden they start to bunch up when he slows it down for the three quarters. All the horses start to bunch up very quickly. Toby's Corner, the winner of the Wood Memorial, getting a good trip of the Whirlaway Stakes, getting a good trip on the outside. And then all these horses bunching up. Arthur's Tail is a horse that had a little bit of a rough trip in here. You see him absolutely bottled up with a ton of horse looking for a place to go. This is a horse to keep an eye on. As they turn for home, though, Johnny Velasquez still seems to have a lot left with Uncle Mo. But the field's getting closer. And Toby's Corner, the eventual winner as well. You see him, the two horse, trying to come up the inside. And then he'll have to switch to the outside. So the first and second place ultimate finishers in here actually have fairly rough trips because they were kind of backed up behind that wall of horses. Uncle Mo heads down the stretch, looks like he's home free, but he's in for a tussle. And now I know John Velasquez said the horse grabbed his quarter. Todd Pletcher said the horse got tired. I was there to watch this race. I do believe the horse was absolutely dog tired, but he will have to improve off of this race to prove to everybody that he can go a mile and a quarter in the Kentucky Derby. On the outside, it's Arthur's tail. Arthur's tail has gone past the two-year-old champion. Late run down toward the inside, Toby's corner. Toby's corner. Toby's corner wins. Arthur's tail was second. And in the motion.